It's about 350 metres. I'm on. I'm on. No more comforting thing to see than breaking swell chop. Oh, good. Good. We're cruising in and we're on. G'day guys and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. This is the birthday edition. You'll be watching this on the 31st of May. My birthday was on the 30th of May, so massive happy birthday to me. Uh, Please, someone says happy birthday. I'm probably going to be the only person who says that, so yeah, go us. But um, look, I may have alluded many, many times in a few of the other videos that there is some new merch, and you may have spotted the first article already. The big knobby hats, the big knobby truckers. They are the new hat design. There's also the two other OG designs. They're all back in stock. Now for everyone who's keen to see what new merch we've got dropping today, I'm gonna gradually show you throughout the show. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next couple of bits because they're pretty damn cool. Sean's seen them, what's your thoughts? Mate, they are red hot and um, I'm gonna get my order in straight away, I reckon. I can see one in the back of the full wheel drive. You don't need to just use it fishing. That's what I like about it. Well, I'll let Sean order first. I'm gonna <laughs> bump the prices up a bit and then we'll drop it back down for you guys. But we're out here today. Um, look, I don't know about you, Sean, but I've had a lifetime of girlfriends screaming at me to go deeper. And I feel like today I've listened. I've listened. We are currently sitting in 200 plus meters of water. You would have seen us jigging 200 meters a couple of videos ago. We are in 200 plus and that's gonna get a lot deeper from there too. Yep. Um, we've got to introduce a couple new members to the family as well. Have a go at this bad boy here. It's a 2000 HG Oshia jigger matched with a bone ocean thug power three slow pitch rod. Sean, I believe you've got a new member to the family as I well. I do mate, I do. Have a look at this. Now, jigging's hard work in deep water, but this one, <laughs> <laughs> she's a little electric reel, goes really tough as well. Beastmaster 9000, something tells me today it could be a Flametail 9000, maybe Alfonso 9000, big Barcod 9000. Can't wait. I just want to catch a fish on the electric. I reckon that's pretty cool. Got the jig outfit too. So we've got bases covered today, mate. We are, uh, after that last little taste of deep dropping madness, we've, um, We've gone full commercial. <laughs> we've got electric reels, we've got bigger deep dropping reels. Look at the setups we're running. We've got a 320 gram Nomad Buffalo glow jig on there. Enough, cool. enough to sis hooks to sink a boat. And uh, look, it's gonna be good to bend the new outfits. Well, fingers crossed, well, fingers crossed. This is the bit of a disclaimer, I suppose, at the start of the video, is we've never fished out here before. These are, we're just going on a bit of a hunch. A couple of little starter marks, but at the moment we have not marked a fish, so it's hard to even know what you're looking for in this depth, to be honest. There's a saying in the fishing industry, and it's not find the fish, find the bait, because uh, if we'd done that, we'd be fishing already, but it's just sometimes you've got to trim it up and send it, and we've done that today. Yep. Um, we thought it was going to be a bit glassier than it currently is. It's not glassy. Nah, sporting conditions, mate, but... But I like to think of it as... It's... it's, it's nature's way of jigging for you. I'm just going to hold the rod and we're going to go up and down. Little little nature slow pitch. Look at this. I'd, just, I'd, be, I'd be much more confident if you saw some fish in the sounder, but I think I'm just going to go search for some new ground and see what happens. You know, see what happens. Yeah. But hopefully we get a few fish. We've got another backup plan. We've got the um, the blue, blue marlin gear here as well. So worst comes to worst, we can chuck the lures in and go cover some ground. Um, but look, we're going to give this deep dropping a red hot nudge. I want to... I want to find something, just one deep water fish. I reckon that's what's so exciting about it. You never know what you're going to pull up out of these sort of depths. So. It is a full on lucky dip. None of us have really done much of it apart from last week. Uh, we haven't landed our mythical barcode yet. Um, look, the dream fish is, I don't, I don't even want to say it, but it's a flame tail. If we could get a flame tail oh, or a ruby snapper. That's what dreams are made of right there. Look, we'll take anything at this stage. We'll take a show on the sounder. <laughs> we'll start with something. I'm sure you guys will take me shutting up and actually fishing as well. But we'll talk through the gear and everything a bit later. Uh, we're just going to do some sounding around and, and do, some, um, do some searching. 
So anyone looking to get into deep dropping, what we're doing, we're just currently searching around. We're, we're using our C-map reveal charts to, to pick likely looking areas. Then we're just slowly cruising around and looking at the bottom. Now you see we're in 230 meters here, but the important part of this is what uh, Sean O's got on the back of his boat. He's got a one kilowatt transducer. So we're running a 50 kilohertz and low chirp. Now that is ideal for deep water. That is your deep water transducer frequency. It's got a lot more punch. It's got a narrower cone, gets down deep and it allows you to find fish. So currently you can see we're not marking anything here. This is just disturbance from, from cruising around. Could be a little bit of electrical in interference as well. What we're looking for is a bit of show on the bottom. So you'll see the red return, that's the bottom there. We we're looking for a bit of yellow, a bit of patches of red. You'll be able to see it quite clearly. So once we find it, I'll, I'll show you. Um, but what we're looking for is just either big patches of bait or just fish sitting hard on the bottom. And you'll be able to see them uh, by, the, by the return that we show you when we find them. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> or we won't, it'll just be a, an on land sound tutorial. We'll put it in demo mode. Now, if you want a bit of an idea of how, uh, how far you have to go offshore where we are to, to find this kind of water depth, you can just see the tops of the hill, hills in the background over there. That's land. We're probably about 50 k's offshore. And apart from that, you're, uh, you're looking at the deep blue sea. A little bit unnerving. Obviously, you wish for a bit better weather, but it's meant to get better as the day progresses. If it doesn't, oh well. We're out here now, we're not going back. Not without a feed, so wish us luck. Oh, that's fish. That is 20 meters of fish. That is 15 meters of fish if you can count properly, which I can't, but that is fish, that's life. And that's what we're looking for. Hopefully that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what we're looking for. You yeah, beauty. That's a good start. Sean O, what are you going? You're going Electricia. I'm going for the big battery boy <laughs> and um, I just really want to catch a fish on this thing because I reckon it's pretty cool. So this, this, people might think this is not sporting but there's actually a fair bit of skill involved in like picking the right spot here so that's his deep drop rig he's got um, a selection of baits bit of squid bit of squid and flesh bit of yakka fillets filleted by yours truly big sinker and carbon electra is about to plunge the depth i'm going for the more finesse option i'm going the 320 gram nomad buffalo in glow uh, i might be the test dummy here, see what this drift looks like. There we so again, you want to stay on top of your um, jigs and, and baits. 230 meters. I've got uh, PE3 Oshia Jigger line here, so I've got plenty of pulling power. This Power 3 rod I got for stopping trucks pretty well. I want to stop things. Yeah, we're looking like dropping down. Hey? Drop down? Yep. Far away. Very heavy, that sinker. How, how heavy is your sinker? About nearly two kilos. Woo -hoo -hoo. I can barely lift that off the ground. So usually my rule of thumb for slow jigging is um, a gram for every metre. Obviously in this sort of depth, it's really hard to stay directly above your um, your jig and you want to get to the bottom quickly, maximise your fishing time, so I'm going heavier. Um, these deep water fish, they don't get targeted as often as, as your shallow water fish, so your pearlies and snappers, so I like to think they're not as fussy. I haven't proven this great deal yet, but I like to think they're not that fussy, so you know, you just get it in their face and they see it and they see something moving that looks edible, and they'll eat it. But still, 250 metres is a long way down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the bottom. Just make sure that drag's got some poke in it. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Yep. Yep. It's good fish too. 
어머머 Oh, it's having a go. Oh, ladies and gents. Now the fun part. Got to wind this guy up. Hope those hooks all stay in. Definitely on. He's actually fighting, like he's, he's moving. It's, it's not massive, like it's not, not a huge fish, didn't. Oh, he's having a go. Oh. Deep as well. He's having a go. It's a good sign. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. It's going to go really slow and steady on this guy. Don't want to pull hooks. You've only got small assist hooks there. You don't want to wear a big hole and 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 pull them out or or anything crazy. <clears throat> Have I still got him? I think I've still got him. Oh, I'm not sure if I still have him. I think so. Oh. Yeah, I've still got him. I've still got him. Still got him, guys. He's not doing much now. I don't know if I've still got this guy. Oh, I think I've lost him. Oh no. I think I've lost it, guys. Oh, this is gonna be devastating. No. I've definitely lost him. Oh. Yeah. No! I reckon I had him halfway up. Yeah, I did. Oh, no. oh. There's the teeth marks on the jig. Well, that's a good sign, but it also sucks a lemon. Um... Yeah, yep. I would have much preferred to just land that guy and see what it was. It was actually having a fair bit of a fight, like it was, it was digging down a bit. So, who knows what that could have been. I've got no idea, but I'm gonna drop down again. We'll probably have to do another drift. Um, yeah. Bugger! No! Look at that, luxury. I know. Absolute luxury. You done, you done fishing? Just, oh yeah. Sort yourself out, Royal. Just yeah, I'm done. Just bring her up now. Yeah, just up you come. Yeah, well, that was a <clears throat> could have been better first drop. I dropped my fish, and we we don't think we had any bites on on that gear. We are um, obviously being very new to this. Where <laughs> Sean's done a bit, I've done none, so I'm zero help. We're still kind of finding our feet, so bear with us. I'm sure there's some deep droppers out there that are just. Going just face palming at the moment, but hey, this is all the fun of fishing. You, you find a new technique and you learn. Needs a little like a Siri voice saying, Sean, your line is up. How'd you go? <clears throat> okay, squiddy boy. Oh, the middle, the fillets. Righto, drop number two. Should be getting close now. This wind wasn't here. We would be pretty well just sitting on top of our gear. Because there is not much current, which is lovely. It's just the wind is blowing us around a little. Are you on the bottom? Yep. Uh, I got beaten to the bottom and I had like a three four minute head start but it's not how fast you get to the bottom it's how fast you'll get fish 
Well, that's me. That's me. All right. What's down there? Could be. <clears throat> no, no, it's fish. Yeah, good. We're on. We're on. We reverse up that way touch oh yeah it's gone I don't know I just got eaten oh That's... <laughs> Still got I don't know, I don't think so. Whatever it was, it just got smoked. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we gave it some. That's uh, the old hook. Hmm. There are some big boppers down there. That wasn't that big to start off with, I don't think. But I think something um, ate it on the way up. Absolutely stretched that hook though. Truth. All right guys, welcome to drop slash drift number three. What you didn't see from that one is Sean had a, uh, lost most of his baits, apart from the squid and um, was missing a hook so there may be a shark down there that's may have been what the culprit that took my fish was I'm not sure but I hope he buggers off there we go Come on. It does not feel big at all. But I'm gonna go a little bit harder on this guy. Because I, I wanna see something. I wanna see some color. He's not fighting anywhere near as hard as before. No idea what it is. If I had to guess, I'd say a, a nanny of some descript. I've got a bit of color. There's a bit of color. What have we got? What is that? Is it, it is a deep sea toadfish. You're kidding. Oh. That is about the worst possible outcome. <laughs> yeah, it is. Looks a bit like you, that fella. Look at him. <laughs> that looks like my old fella when I go too hard with the um, with the clippers, including that bit there. <laughs> that is very underwhelming. Have you got one? I, think so. I hope you've got the same. <laughs> yeah, Sean's got five of them. Well, that is that is super underwhelming. Hope that guy is unhappy, as unhappy as me to see us. They don't usually travel in big schools, do they? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it kick. You've definitely got a fish on. Oh! 
Sean's got a fish. What is it? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. We've got the, the, the deadly double of deep sea toads. Oh no. That's underwhelming. That sucks. Worth the purchases though. Oh, I just, you know what, when you get the first fish on a new outfit, you can't go back and get another first fish. On you can't. <laughs> oh, no. oh good. Who's got the, well, that's, that's that feels like. I didn't want to dump it, do you what? Hang on, I need some pliers. Yeah, that looks like a lesser version of myself. Oh, that's oh, weather. And they bite your rigs off. That's what happens to the rigs. That's the the. That is as underwhelming as it gets in deep drop fishing. Pretty much worth, pretty much worth the old 70 kilometer run out here. Is that a PB ball sack? <laughs> it is, mate. That guy needs to see the doctors. I think he's busted a seal. He's just a good old slimy. Put your finger in there. Those things are dead set bolt cutters. Oh, the hooks work good. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty underwhelming. First two fish in the boat. Deep sea toadfish. You ripper. Are you keen for some fugu? Yeah, mate, why not? Actually a qualified fugu chef or puffer fish chef for you guys who don't know what I'm talking about. Just, you know, whip it up. You've got to cut it real carefully, otherwise you die. Uh, but, you know, great. Great sashimi, I think. I don't know if they have it raw or not. But, yeah, that's pretty underwhelming. The first two fish I hooked though, they weren't toads because they were fighting and taking a bit of draw, uh, line and then one of them got railed by something else. Now, it's obviously the sea toads that are biting off um, Sean's rig, so it might have been a, uh, a big barcode or something that come up and ate my fish last time. So, look, I'm not, I'm not discouraged yet. We're gonna have another drop. Sean O's changed it to a jiggy boy. And uh, look, it's time to get serious. Time to get physical. Um, yeah. Fish? Yep. Hey? I think something. Yeah. Fish? Yep. Oh! Well, there you go. <laughs> There you go, it's worth the investment now, wasn't it? It's worth it now, mate. Oh my goodness. That is one pretty looking fish. It's got this like... Something else has been eaten. Yeah. He looks tasty. Yeah, I think they, they are quite tasty, these little things. Give us a look at it, give us a close up. You gotta remember this is from 280 meters of water. Happy? I'm pretty stoked because first one of those I've ever caught. <laughs> PV think, one of those things. I, I think it's a, a perch type of perch. Yeah, I'll back in. Looks perchy. Yep. Nice fish with big eyes. <laughs> That's Man. sick. Mate, Flathead Classic 2021. You're in with a shot. Have a go at that beast. Mate. Most meritorious, buddy. At least the most spiky flathead. Look at, look at go of that. Just grab it over the head. <laughs> that would ruin your life. Um, if he was about oh, 80 centimetres, it'd be a good deal, but well, I think um, we might even move spots. This is about this is what you do in the deep. You, you just got to move spots. I think it's not rough enough and not enough current, so we're going to push wider, I reckon. Definitely not rough enough. Like, it's probably only 12 knots and um, you know a good meter and a half of um, swell chop so look we're going to try and see if we can find some really rough stuff and then obviously the fish will chew after that um, yeah look she's not going that great at the moment but 
that's the thing with this sort of stuff. You gotta stay persistent. And worst case scenario, we'll drop down a bait jig and catch Spanish. So, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna keep going, keep going. Talk us through it, mate, talk us through it. So I to go a little bit deeper and of course have a beer. I think it's a perfect combination. A little bit rougher out here, that's what we need. A little bit of weather. I can saw some bites straight away. That's, that's a fish. It's struggling. It's a fish. I, we saw the bites. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Yes. Yes. Woo. That's better. Probably not a sea perch. Hoping, hoping it's not one of those um, ball sacks either. You don't want one of those in your face, no way. <laughs> he knows from experience. <laughs> you only learn these things from experience. Well, oh, look at that, look at the bites. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a serious. Oh, we don't know. No, it's, it's doing something. stuff. It's, it's doing stuff. So this is probably a little bit deep for me to jig. It's about 350 meters. So that's a, a bit out there. Uh, I might try 500 gram or see if I can get down, but I've only got 400 meters of line. So any belly in the line and you're kind of chewing into that, that 50 meters extra and you don't want to get down to the knot. That's for sure. So fingers crossed this is something awesome. Oh, yeah, something. oh no. Is that is that the green eye sharks? Two. Two of them. Two green eye sharks, maybe even three. On a scale of one to ten, how impressed are we? Not not really. Maybe like a good solid one out of ten. Oh well, I'm gonna get these guys off. And have another go. Uh, definitely hooked well. No doubt about it. Why do they call them green eye sharks? <laughs> it's got something to do with their eyes, I'm not sure. Have a look at that. Not going to lie, that got the hopes up a little bit then. Um, look, we're going to go again. We will, we will rebuild. <sighs> this deep dropping stuff is hard. <laughs> it really is. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> I think we've been lured into a false sense of security and we're also doing this on the roughest day ever. Um, if this wind backs off, it's going to be lovely. That would be nice. Anyway, I'm going to try and drop in 350 and see if I can get it at the bottom. Why not? Why not? Well guys, I dropped my jig down in 340 meters and I don't know. I've got some weight here. I don't know if I'm just pulling my jig up sideways or what's going on. Have I got a rock or something? But there's, there's weight. I could see the little bit of tape that I had holding my spool on, but this thing hasn't, hasn't kicked at all. So I'm skeptical as then again i'm not sure how how much kicking you're going to feel 300 meters down hey the way there's some weight there it's a nice change from nothing please be something cool Sideways cat shark, uh, green eye shark. <laughs> yeah. Not cool. The Small blue eye, very cool. Oh, here we go. It's a bloody cat shark. No. Oh my god. Through the anal fin. <laughs> Through the top fin. Is it a cat shark? Yeah. Green eye. God, whatever, green eye. That's the worst. That is dead set the worst. Oh, that rate's about just, just below hooking your line around the anchor rope. Oh, Sean, that was disheartening. I thought it was, uh, thought it was my time. It's a decent one too. Oh, good. It's like, they get big out, but that's, well, you would have known about it on a jig. Yeah, I did. I didn't want to know about it though. Now he's trying to swing a hook into me. Oh, the worst. Right, guys, here's the current situation. The weather that was meant to be lovely is absolutely atrocious. It is horrible. Um, 
instead of dropping to zero knots, it's just increased to 15. Uh, and the swell and chop on top of it is very unpleasant. To the extent that we've got about a 70k trip or 60k trip back, uh, the way things are going, it's going to take us about three hours. Yeah. Now it's about quarter past one at the moment. We have one red, yellow, and pink perch deep sea fish in the esky. Look, it's it's not the day we envisioned at all. To make matters even worse, got a lovely, lovely bit of risotto here. I forgot a fork, so I'm currently eating that with a knife. Sean, you got anything to add? Oh, oh hang on. Sean's about to change the day. It's very, very difficult to know what's the difference between a bite and getting thrown around from 15 knots of wind. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, not much to add, mate. I'm having fun, but I'm not going to enjoy the ride back in, I don't reckon, if I've got nothing in that esky. Well, you've got your little perch thing. Well, this is true. <laughs> you might need more than one. Oh, it's... One fish taco coming up. It is, yeah, it is. People will often ask me, Sam, I'd love to go fishing with you. I can guarantee you today, you probably wouldn't. It is frustratingly hard, but we're gonna keep persisting. We're gonna try and catch something. Yeah, it's all part of the fun. Um, yeah, look, not a great deal more to add. This is probably not the trip we wanted to break in the new gear, um, but hey, that's fishing. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. I hate that saying. And uh, yeah, this isn't helping our situation at all. Right, up, good chatting, good chatting. Well, if this isn't the icing on the cake, I don't know what is. That's another big sack for me. <laughs> and uh, the big fella himself looks to be hooked up to exactly the same. I reckon it's a slightly bigger sack than you though, Sammy. Just slightly. Slightly bigger sack, he reckons. Slightly. Slightly bigger sack, well, mate. You can have it. Well, it's not every day you can come out here and just, you know, target balls and get balls. That's what we're doing here. There's a lot of balls going around. Big old slimy balls, these ones. No good though. <laughs> Absolutely no good. No. Now, keep in mind that cameras often make it look calmer than it is. Look how much the horizon is moving around. That's uh, a good sign that it's not a good place to be. Well, I'm gonna have to remove this guy. Like, hang on, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna. Have you got colour? Yeah, it might not be a ball sack. Could be. It's a ball sack. It is definitely a ball sack. I can guarantee. Oh, and ball. it's it's smaller. <laughs> Look, every, <laughs> everyone suspected it, but. That is a metaphor for life right there. Oh, I was gonna say, Look like, at it, look at it! But for my size, like, that's a pretty respectable ball. <laughs> Come on, look at that, look at that. Look, look at that, it's just, oh, it's old as well. <laughs> <laughs> look at the sag on it. I oh, know, oh, no, that's, a, that's a good looking fish. I've caught some beauties in my time, and tell you what, you don't really appreciate the good days <laughs> until you have a couple of these ones. Look at the, look at the sack on that, just, I don't know if we get a close up here because that is. Massage it in. Well, this is the funny thing. You give that a good feeling. That is. That is. <laughs> wow. One one. Holy heck. That's, that's, it's like really soft. It's like it's been waxed. <laughs> and it, yeah, no, that's good. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's it. You know, let me show you what a real man looks like. Oh. Gotta say, gotta say, Sammy, you've got away with the balls, mate. <laughs> that is a, oh god, that is a bull. Big old toady. <laughs> Look at this. Wrap your laughing gear around that sack. <laughs> I couldn't if I tried. I couldn't if I tried. That is, um, that's more than a handful. So you know, the <laughs> the rest is wasted there. But <laughs> Look at it. Just. Oh. That's a good looking fish. That is just the pinnacle <laughs> of angling right there. Um, if anyone's wondering as well, yes, I do charters. You can come out here, I'll take you to my favorite toady spot and uh, we can just stock up if you like. Look at that, that's a trophy, trophy class toad. Have you got the bolt cutters on his face though? No. That's the way to go. 
I kept losing rigs. I kept biting my hooks off. I just wish. Do not get your finger in there. I would much rather no, not catch anything than wind this up. Well, I was going to go for one more drift, but I think um, well, let, let them let them go and let them grow. I reckon. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to come back here. <laughs> I can't wait to come back. Oh, that's good times all around. Good stuff. On that note, what do you reckon? I reckon we make we make a run for it. So I think it'll take us about four hours from here to get home, so. Oh, I'm, I'm super pumped. <laughs> super pumped. And the, the funny part is, we picked here because the weather was going to be good. We could have done something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is because we'll do it next time. But I'll tell you what, we won't be coming deep dropping, that is for sure. Oh, and it probably would have been lovely out there. Don't know what he's whinging for. It's a nice warm day and chances are he's not going to be too hot coming in because we're going to get very, very wet. Alright, let's go. We've just got a couple of uh, braking swell here at the moment, which is it's a nice change from the uh, non-breakers. Someone paddle onto that. Could surf it. Could definitely surf it. No more comforting thing to see than breaking swell chop. Oh, good. Good. Oh, good. Second one. Breaking swell chop in 250 metres of water. In all seriousness, though, it is, um, it is pretty damn rough out here. So as a bit of a safety thing, we're going for the closest bit of land which isn't the fastest way home by any stretch, but we're just gonna go for the closest bit of land and then we're gonna head along the coast. Um, it's by far the safer option. You don't wanna be battling it out here. We tried to change position, position before and we um, we put the front under between swells. So, you know, you're, you're a long way out here, you're by yourself. So you gotta kinda do, even if it takes a bit longer, you gotta do what's right for the crew, what's right for everyone and just be safe. So we're gonna head straight in for, um, for land then we're gonna cruise along the coast and home. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna show you any of this trip. We're gonna to have to batten down the hatches. We're gonna to have to put everything out of the way because we're gonna to get, to get all sorts of wet. All sorts of wet. Oh, well. The trip that wasn't. The trip that wasn't. We've had some good trips, you and I. Exactly right. And look, a little bit of a shout out as well. If anyone knows how to deep drop in Southeast Queensland, hit me up. I'm, I'm keen to take you under the wing and all that and show you a few of my tips, maybe in exchange for a couple of yours. To learn. Yeah, don't forget about me either. I'm, I'm keen to come. I'm, I'm happy to jig. I'm, I'm willing to jig, just not here. <laughs> We're right here, no not willing to jig anymore. No Too many toadfish. Nice show on the sounder though. There is actually, but that's for another day. Yeah, another day. We're out of here. We're out. Just gonna have a prospector. Got him! <laughs> and me! You got it turned on? Yep. Righto. Oh no. Righto guys, so... I don't know what... Oh. Well, he's not happy about it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think so. Righto guys, so... We're cruising in. And... We got to run along the beach. So we could, um, this guy's, I think this guy might explode. So I wonder if it's a longy. About to get a look at him. So we're cruising along the beach here and um, we've managed to hook up a tuna. We saw some birds working. And we've got a, got a hook up. And uh, yeah, look, this could be the, the day change we're, we're looking for because I tell you what, it had been tough. If it had been a tough day, I'm definitely not going to count chickens before they hatch. Uh. This is a long, it's the 
strangest fighting longy of all time. No, he's just just chilling. But we saw we saw a few bust ups, so I packed the spin rod for deep dropping just in case we saw a um a log or something with some dolphin fish on it. So I had some stick baits and stuff there. Just in case. And with a bit of luck, it's um, going to pay off. There he is. There he is up on the surface. Yeah, it's definitely a tuna of some description. <laughs> Either. No, I don't think it's a dog tooth, and I don't think it's a yellow fin. Oh. I think it might be. It look, yeah, it looks like a long. If this is a long tail, we might have. I don't want to say it early. I don't want to say it early. So I used to catch a mac tuna. Yeah, I know. Definitely capitalising on some circle work. Never seen one fight so hard. Well, he never ran. Oh, that's the thing, he just sort of dug in. He never ran, he's just doing... Under the boat. He's just going tuna circles. Yeah, he's a 40 kilo yellowfin. wanted to know how you could turn your day from really 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 crap to really good I'll get a size of that. <laughs> and that literally came about from going geez we're not done yet let's go along the back of the brakes and see if we can't find a something busting some birds some bait something we spotted a tuna bust we chased another pack came back in saw one pop up put in a prospecting cast and you ripper, the boys are back on. Yeah, good the boys are back I'm, on. I'm so stoked. We just smashed that. Absolutely minced it. Look at that. Oh, that's a real one. And didn't he go too? Did he? He go? He never did the typical long tail run. He just did the slug, 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 and uh, just did circle work. You absolute bloody beauty. That is. That is a day changer. That is an absolute day changer. You! Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's about 10, 11, maybe 12 kilos of long tail tuna. Uh, we're going to keep this guy for some sashimi. He's going to go an absolute treat. And I'll tell you what, we have been absolutely kissed on the word that starts with C because um, we were having an absolute shocker of a day. And we've just fluked a big longy. It doesn't get too much better than that. We were hoping to find some Taylor, but we found these guys, and I'll tell you what, you're not gonna let that opportunity uh, pass you boy. Oh, sure no, mate. Mate, I, I'm so stoked. 
I'm so stoked. I was just saying before how I've never got a long tail tuner off the local. Still haven't, but you have. <laughs> <laughs> You'll also notice how good are the conditions in here. I wish they were like this out offshore. We would have had a cracking day, but there's no wind in here. There's about 400 knots offshore. Uh, yeah, stick bait in the mouth. I think it's time for a beer. Now we're gonna knock this guy on the head, bleed him, get him on ice, and then uh, we might crack a beer, I think. You beauty, how good is that? That is unreal. Well, I, I think we can honestly say we earned it one of these ones. Mate, oh, cheers. Hang on. Hang on. Cheers, oh, cheers, cheers. I know you guys have been waiting patiently. One of the cool products, Fraser Frenzy Baits, and I have come up with the ultimate fisherman's bottle opener. Oh no, <laughs> cracked under pressure. Yeah, Check that, that out. That's... These come in four different colours. Sammy Itzky Fishing, Fraser Frenzy Baits, Mate, what do you reckon? That is pretty cool. Give us a look at that. Oh, that's... Look at the detail on that. If there was ever a better way to say, I'm a better fisherman than you, <laughs> let me open your beer, then I'd like to see it, but... That's why, mate, I don't need a bottle opener in mine, mate. Bang. The old ring pull. <laughs> the old ring puller. Yeah. Sure, know the ring puller, but that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the second little treat, guys. And I may as well show you the third now, because we're, we are running out of light. Well, that's dangerous. Yeah, you, that's da you hold that one. I'll hold this. <laughs> Don't spit in it. No. I'm going to drink it, then I realise the old Corona, mate. Corona! Was, you, you got to be careful. Corona. And that is the second little treat there, guys. Key rings. These are another Fraser Frenzy Baits collaboration. We've got the Sammy Hitsky hooks on top. These come in six different colours. Uh, same thing. Put your boat keys on there. Put your car keys on there. It's just a great way of telling everyone else that you're a better fisherman than them. <laughs> it's um, it's it's That's guaranteed to, to boost catch rates by six million percent. Same as the hats. These are actually quite lucky. We thought we were going to donut, put the hat on, the tuna. <laughs> may not have been in that order. May not have had anything to do with it. You be the judge. We'll never know. But guys, check it out. That is some pretty cool kit. These will be going online soon. I'm going to decide what time everything's going live. You guys are going to get first crack at them too. Um, you guys support the YouTube channel, so I don't think it's only fair that you guys get first crack at the uh, YouTube stuff. So I'm going to let you guys know all the times everything's going to go live. Uh, you guys will be able to do it then. After a few hours, I'll promote it on my Instagram and Facebook and everyone else can have a crack at it. But you guys get first dibs. Bottle opener. We've got the key ring. New hats. Old hats. It's winner, mate. And winner. Tuna, tuna. Proven. Proven day saver hats. Oh, I reckon they're proven, mate. They might not get you off to a flying start, but tell you what, <laughs> you'll be coming home, home with a wet sail. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we're going to keep heading up this beach, see if we can find something else to catch. Um, yep, this is cool. Worst comes to worst, may or may not finish a few more of these guys. Sounds like a good plan, mate. If you don't see anything more from us, we didn't catch anything, but I'll tell you what, we still had a good time. We still had a good time. <laughs> Well guys, there it is, the saving grace from yesterday's trip. Uh, just gave it a quick measure, it's about a metre and five centimetres. Uh, Going to give it a quick weigh as well, but we've, we've suffered a bit of a whale tax. We've, uh, we've lost half of it, so we'll get a rough idea of how much it weighs anyway. That is an eight kilo uh, long tail tuna. Uh, probably would have been closer to 10 if it was in one piece. Maybe a touch more. Uh, either way, it's going to make some great quality sashimi. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get time to film a cook-up for you guys this week. Um, I'll be having this guy raw and also seared. I have done that before in previous videos if you are interested in looking. I might try and uh, rope in my neighbour who's a chef to, to show us a bit of a, a cool recipe, but I don't know if we'll have time, so we'll see how we go. Definitely more meat on Spanish, a lot less waste. Tuna a lot of, a lot of head, um, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna be awesome chewing regardless. So guys, there's no cook up this week, sorry. I uh, ended up having that tuna in fish tacos. I had a few people around for my birthday. We had a few beers and we had fish tacos. It's absolutely awesome. That exact same recipe I showed you last week. So if you do get a long tail and you're wondering what to do with it, try the fish tacos, because it is unreal. 
Now I also wanted to show you up close and personal all the colors available in the new merch. Now just remember if you do want any of the merch, particularly the bottle openers and the key rings, they are in very limited supply. So get on the website www.sammyhitskyfishing.com at 6pm and grab yours because I'd hate for you to miss out. But check out these colors. We've got Nemo, coral trout, flying fish with abalone wings, and the lucky banana. Now in the key rings, we've got the blue color shift, we've got the green color shift, the pink fusilier, yellow and blue fusilier, Nemo, and green, blue, black, purple color shift. And of course in the hats, we've got the big knobby trucker, the OG Sammy Hitsky fishing, and the big hookup. Now I would like to add, because I think it's very important, particularly at the moment, to support Australian businesses, the hats are all sourced and embroidered here in Australia from a company up the coast. And those lures, they are handmade, hand painted, hand everything here in Brisbane by a local lure maker, Fraser Frenzy Baits. So all the merch is made by awesome Aussie companies. And I reckon that is really, really cool. Well guys, that is all we've got time for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know I pulled a rabbit out of the hat again this week. Um, I don't know how I got so lucky. It, I, we'd pretty much written off the day, but we got lucky. But Fear not, our quest to get some good fish out of the deep water will not end here. We are even keener. We've got some plans in place, some new area to try. We're going to be back and we're going to be better than ever. We're going to catch some awesome fish. I can feel it. We're, we're on the cusp. We're on the cusp. We've got all the bad luck out of our system now and we're going to slay next trip. So make sure you tune in for that. Guys, if you did like or learn something, make sure you hit the like button. Leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There's new fishing videos every single week. Guys, make sure you get on the website, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com at 6 p.m. today and check out the new merch. Put in your orders and I'll get it posted out to you ASAP. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers.